Welcome to No Solutions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload a file to an SFTP site using C Sharp. So in this demo, I created a console application using .NET 6 and Visual Studio 2022. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to add a NuGet package called Renzi SSH.net. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna right click my project and I'm gonna go into manage NuGet packages. And then when you go into the NuGet package manager, you want to make sure you have your package storage as NuGet.org. In the search, you want to, you're going to want to search for rencssh.net. So I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to click install. And then once that's done, we'll go back into the program class. So step one is complete. The next step is going to be to load a file that I created um, on my D slash colon slash temp called Nuno Solutions FTP text. And all it is is a hello YouTube text file. So in the load file section, I'm gonna paste some code here and I'll explain what it does. First, we're declaring the file to upload, which is the D colon slash temp slash Nuno Solutions FTP text. This is a text file I just showed you guys. Next, I'm declaring a, a variable called file name where I'm, I'm using this path.get file name and I'm getting it from the file path, a variable right above it, just cause I wanna be able to just get this part of the of the path because I'm going to need it when I upload the file to the SFTP. And then this file content is the actual contents of the file. So I'm using file.readAllText. Now passing in the file path of the this path right here. So that's going to load any co other contents from the text file into a string called file content. And to upload to the SFTP, it has to be a byte array. So I'm using encoding.ascii.getBytes and I'm passing in the file contents, which is a string variable that we loaded with the file text data. And that gives me a file data variable variable, which is a byte array. Okay, so the next step is to actually write the code to do the uploading. So real quick, I'm kind of gonna kind of go over this. Let me just minimize the solution explorer. And let me just move some of the code over. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna be using a using statement and in the parentheses, we're gonna declare a client and we're gonna instantiate that into a new SFTP client object. This SFTP client object is a class that's in the NuGet package that we added, the renci.ssh, as you can see. This is the, I think I'm pronouncing that right, renci.ssh.net. And you can see here, there's, here's the class, right? It requires a host, a port, a username, a pass, and a password. Declaring this using statement and we're declaring this client object when we instantiate the SFTP client from the rency.ssh net This configure service is just a class that I have in my project here where I'm just declaring my SFTP Variables the host the path the username the password the port and I have them encrypted right now And then the except for the path the path is not encrypted the path of the the SFTP is going to be SFTP root slash Nuno solution And that's why you're seeing this decrypt extension here So I'm decrypting the the variable and then the port is just an integer obviously port 22 so then once you get into this using statement the first thing you, thing you want to do now that we have this client variable instantiated to an sftp client object we're going to call client.connect this establishes the sftp connection if the host port and the username and password are valid and then you're going to test if it's connected client that is connected if it isn't connected if this returns false you should just show a message saying unable to connect to sftp if it connection is it returns true, that means you connected successfully. So we're gonna call client dot change directory, and we're gonna change the directory to the path that I have configured in my service, which is slash root slash Nuno solutions. We're gonna use another using statement where we're gonna declare a file stream, which is actually a memory stream where the memory stream, when you instantiate this object, it's gonna require a byte array. The byte array, this file data variable is the one we declared at the top here, where we're taking the file contents that came in as a string, and we're using this encoding.ascii.getBytes to convert that into a byte array. And then within this using statement, we're gonna call client, which is the SFTP client, dot upload file. We're gonna pass in the file stream, which is this what we declared right here. It's the memory stream. And then the second parameter is the actual file name. This, so this is that variable where we were fetching from our path here, file that we're uploading, we were using name to actually get just the file name with the extension. So this is the, the destination file name and extension. And then if that doesn't throw an exception, we're just gonna write to the screen that the file was uploaded successfully. Okay, so let's save that and let's run it and see if we get any errors. And you can see at the top here, the Nuno Solutions sftp.txt file was uploaded successfully. Now let's verify that it actually worked. So I ha I'm using FileZilla and I'm connected to the SFTP site directly. If I refresh this, you can see in the SFTP root Nuno Solutions, we now have the Nuno Solutions .sftp .txt file that was uploaded. If you right click this, you click view edit and it opens up the file that was from the SFTP site directly. And you can see it's this, it has the same exact contents as my local file. 
if you don't have FileZilla, it's, it's open source. You could download it. For, uh, just Google search it. Uh, it's a very cool tool. I use it all the time. And that's it for this this demo, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, or if you like this video, please remember to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.